Howdy gang, we're glad you're here to join us today. This is my friend, Maddie. Hi friends, how you doing? Yeah, we're up here on the Dusty Trail Ranch and we've, we've been putting up these trail signs, haven't we? We have been. Yeah, Maddie's done a really great job and we just want to tell you, we're glad you're joining us today. And we want to remind you, the T is for tell. And we're gonna tell people about who? Jesus. That's right. And the R is for relationship. And that means we're gonna have a friendship or a relationship with Jesus. With Jesus. Do you have a relationship with Jesus? I do, and I love it. Yeah, me too. He's I'm, the best. I'm so glad I do. It helps me every single day. Every day, Deputy Beck. And then today, we're gonna have a new letter, and I'm so excited about me this. Me too. You guys are gonna learn something new today. And what's this letter right here? The letter A. And I'm not gonna tell you what, nope. yet what it stands for. Nope, Because you're gonna have to just get all set tight and hear about it from our lesson today. Yes. So, have a great time. Bye, we'll friends. see you later. Bye, friends. Vicaru, are you having a fun time at the Dusty Trail? It's okay. Actually, I'm pretty bored, and I'm not sure I want to be here. Bored? It's the best ranch ever. How can you be bored? We have so much to do and so many places to explore. The best part is the horses. I love being able to take care of the horses. Horses are dumb. I'm not having a good time. I hate the food, I'm not making any friends, and there are too many mosquitoes. And some of the kids aren't very nice. I'm stuck out here on this lake with nothing to do and no one to do it with. Vicaroo, I didn't know you feel that or you felt that way. It sounds like you have a pretty bad attitude. Vicaroo, I'm surprised at your attitude. It's not that kind of attitude that we want here at the ranch. You know what else? Some of the kids at lunchtime said some mean things to me and I think I'm gonna get back at them. Let me see. I can put some frogs in their sleeping bag or I can mix up the salt and the sugar on the table or maybe- Pick a row. You can't act that way up here on Dusty Trail Ranch. Besides, what would Maddie Lou say? Talk here, my name. What would Maddie Lou say about what? You came just in time, Maddie Lou. Vicaroo here has a bad attitude. And if she is not careful, her actions are going to get her into trouble. Vicaroo, do you want to tell me what's going on? As trail master, it is my job to know about all the problems happening here. I'll tell you, she, she. Let's let Vicaroo tell her side of the story here, Sue. I'm just not having a good time. I thought it would be fun out here on the ranch, but it's just hard. And to top it all off, some of the kids have been really mean. I thought that if I were mean back at them, it would teach them a lesson. Nobody's gonna be mean to me. Slow down now, Vicaroo. You sound like one of my wild ponies up there on the ridge. Until they learn to follow their trail guide, they run around getting into all kinds of trouble, and getting into trouble is never any fun. But it's not fair. It's hard. It's Dirty! Vicaroo, you knew when you came up here to the ranch that there would be rules, right? Well, sure, Maddie Lou, we read the rules. And we go over them every day. Do you know who your leader is? Well, yes, you are, Maddie Lou. Yes, and I represent the ranch. And if we have a bad attitude, use bad language, or are mean or unkind, who looks bad? Well, I mean, I do, and I guess, so does the ranch. Vicaroo, it is very important to know that when you choose to follow someone, then you follow them with all your heart. Sometimes the rules are not easy and sometimes they don't seem fair, but you follow because you are obeying your leader. And you're our leader, Maddie Lou. That's right. The rules are here to keep us safe and to help us have a good time and keep the ranch a tip top shape. Now that you understand, do you think you could follow the rules? Sure, I'll do it, even if it's hard. That's the right attitude, Vicaroo. And I want you to remember that you can always come and talk to me about how you feel so we can work it out together, okay? Why don't you guys get out of the boat and come follow me? Let's have a chat over by the campfire and work out together and show everyone how to be good followers of the Dusty Trail Ranch. Howdy gang, how you doing? Hi, Deputy Howdy. Beck. Hey, I heard that you guys were having a little bit of an issue out there in the boat. Vic, is everything okay? Better now. I'm so glad. You know, it's really important 
how we act and how we behave and actually who we're following really makes a big difference because when you're following the wrong kind of people, sometimes it doesn't help how we act, does it? And you know, today it kind of reminds me of a Bible story that we we are going to talk about in a little bit, but you know, we have an opportunity to follow a lot of people. Who are some of the people that you get to follow in your life? Can you guys help me out with that? I know Maddie Lou, Maddie Lou mm -hmm. here, our trail guide. We follow her, and she helps us out on the trail. Who are some other people that we follow? Jesus. We can follow Jesus. Or like people we see on TV. Mm -hmm. We follow what they do. Yes, and, and is that always a good thing? No. Sometimes it's okay, but not always. What about our parents? Can we follow our parents? Yes. Yeah. And do they help us out with rules and what to say and mm -hmm. things to do? Mm -hmm. Our teachers. Our teachers. Yes, it's really important to um, have the right kind of people to follow and to know who to follow. But sometimes we do follow the wrong kind of people. Like maybe there's a bully at school that wants everybody to follow him. And then pretty soon, what are you doing? You're being a bully too. Or maybe somebody you're with likes to talk about other people and then all of a sudden you're doing the exact same thing. And so, you know, it's really important that you're following the right kind of people. And, you know, um, Maddie Lou here, she's a good example of a leader that's teaching you the trail rules and how to follow what you need to do up here on the ranch. And that's so important in life that you have the right kind of people. And you wanna have coaches and teachers and parents that you can listen to and that will help you do the right thing. Well, it reminds me of a Bible story here, and it's in the book of John, which is in the New Testament, Testament or the New Commandment, yes. And so we're gonna hear about John today, and this was before he knew Jesus. Did you know that before he knew Jesus, he and his brothers had a nickname? You know what it was? What was it? The Sons of Thunder. Oh. <laughs> John and James, they were called the Sons of Thunder. What do you think that that meant about them? If you were just to hear that. Strong. Wow. strong and big and loud. Thunder. Strong and big and loud and noisy and maybe they caused a lot of ruckus mm. when they went places and did things. Yep. Well, one day those two boys, those Sons of Thunder, were out with their daddy, Zibidi, and they were out fishing because that's what they did for a living. They were out fishing in the boat and, and they had rules for fishing too and they followed their daddy out there and maybe they did some fighting sometimes. Do you think brothers fought? Yeah. yeah. They probably did. They were probably stirring up a ruckus, trying to get those fish caught and just like you guys were out in the lake, they were out there in the lake fishing with their daddy and all of a sudden this man comes by that they've never met before. And you know what that man was? His name was Jesus. And he said to John, he said, John, I have an idea for you. How about if you leave the fishing business and come and follow me? I want you to come and follow me. I want you to change what you're doing and come and follow me. But you know what John did? The Bible says he did just that. John left the fishing business and he got up. He didn't even think very long about it, but he got up and he followed Jesus. And the Bible says that instead of fishing for fish, like out in the lake, he became a fisher of men, meaning that he was gonna follow Jesus, he was gonna tell people about Jesus, and he was going to have people come and follow Jesus and get to know who Jesus was. One of the ways we get to know Jesus is by doing what Jesus would do. How do you think Jesus would act, Vicki, if he was up here on the trail? I think he would follow the rules. Do you think he would be kind to other people? Yeah. Yeah, do you think that he would be uh, mean to other campers? Mm -mm. No. Do you think he would treat the animals poorly? No. No. Do you think he would include everyone? Yeah. You know, Jesus was like that. His actions showed his love. And you know, we want our actions to show our love. And when we're following the right kind of people, we're gonna know what to do. So it's really important to follow your teachers, your parents, the right kind of leaders in your life, the right kind of family in your life that can teach you what to do. And it's really important to follow what God's word says. The Bible says God's word is like a light in our path, a light to our feet. And it shows us the way to go. 
and it will help us know how we can act. And I have a little A here for action. That's the A in our um, brand here today. We had the T, which was for tell. tell. And we had the R for relationship. relationship. And now we have the A for action. actions. And all of those we want to tell people about Jesus. We want to have a relationship with Jesus. And we want to act the way Jesus would act. Mm -hmm. And you know, Jesus was kind and loving to everyone. And so I hope that you will find friends that you can have follow you too, and you can show them loving kindness each and every day, and that um, you will have actions that show the love of Jesus wherever you go. So I hope you guys have a fun rest of the evening. How about we have some, some marshmallows and some weenies to roast out here. Sounds and, good, Deputy And I'll, I'll just serenade you a little bit with my guitar, okay? <laughs> and we're just gonna have a little fun out here at campfire tonight, okay? Yeehaw! 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 <laughs> Yeehaw.